Hey everyone, so I wanted to give a quick shout out to this content creator. Specifically this video that she made where she's responding to someone who told her that if she's a Christian, she should not be friending a Satanist. I have faced similar but not the same backlash from my series on Satanism from Christians. I was told, for example, that something is terribly wrong with me, to say the least, because I want to read the Satanic Bible for that series. I mean, one of the first things to know right off the bat about this is that it's not biblical to say that you can't have friends that are non-believers or that you cannot read texts that are not coming from a Christian worldview. To respond to the first point, Jesus was a friend of sinners, and that is one of the points that was pointed out in the textbook that we used for my Christian university class on Christian missions. To respond to the second point I brought up, it's worth noting that the biblical authors were clearly influenced by and read and even quote texts that are blasphemous and even seen as blasphemous and idolatrous by the early authors. Another point to make is that this is part of evangelism. Evangelism is not just going out on the street and preaching what the gospel is. Part of evangelism is not just speaking the message, but also living out the message. And Jesus did both when he proclaimed the gospel to the sinner and befriended the sinner. My third point would be more of an anecdotal experience, but I became friends with a radical theistic Satanist uh, in eighth grade. This was actually a Satanist that thought that she was going to kill Christians in the end times. We became friends and started to debate and argue and all these sorts of things. We bonded over common interests like the Supernatural TV show, for example. And as the years wore on and as the debate and friendship continued to grow stronger, she eventually converted to Christianity my 10th grade year of high school. And that's after being a Satanist for nine years. Friendship and dialogue is powerful, and we need to use both in our evangelistic efforts and even just simply demonstrating Christian virtues.